We have to ask ourselves, uh, to what extent have we succeeded in dealing with these challenges? So if, if they came out of their resting holes, resting places, would they be able to say that we have successfully uh, fought against uh, poverty? Will they be able to say we have successfully fought against ignorance? And have we successfully fought against disease? Uh, my take is that uh, we still have a long way to go. And therefore, as we approach the Jamhuri Day, let us refocus on those fundamental challenges that were identified. Because clearly, um, COVID has taught us that our health sector and our fight against disease uh, has got a long way to go. There's debate about universal health care and so forth, but we have seen that this has not quite uh, been tackled. So our end up underbelly uh, in this area has been exposed. If we go into the issue of uh, uh, fighting against poverty, um, what do Kenyans feel today? Kenyans feel that um, life has become unbearable. It has become more expensive. They feel heavily taxed. Inflation is hitting. All right. Uh, as we speak, a lot of people have lost their jobs. So, so clearly, the whole aspect of the fight against poverty, again, is brought to fore that a lot more needs to be done. The public debt that we are all reeling under, and what does it do to contributing to the poverty that we are facing? So these are issues that uh, remain. And then in the ignorance, uh, there's been good strides on the academic front and so forth. But uh, equally, we are seeing uh, uh, a society that um, is, is, is also reeling from certain uh, uh, the consequences of choices that they should not have been uh, making. Yeah, so, so that we must get to our people to understand that the fight against ignorance is not just about learning how to read and write. But how do you apply uh, the knowledge uh, to be able to direct you or to guide you to making proper and wise decisions? So these are fundamentals that I say uh, we need to focus on. And uh, my message to the Kenyans on Jamhuri Day is that let us rededicate ourselves uh, to these ideals and to this area of focus. Um, and, and, and perhaps uh, the symbolism of uh, 